welcome to the chemistry live channel so today we are discuss about the disconnection approach it is a new topic and which is useful in advanced chemistry so in disconnection approach we will deal with the following topics introduction of the synthesis and synthetic equivalence then the basic definition of disconnection approach functional group interconversion the importance of cx one group and two group cx disconnection chemo selectivity and reverse and polarity but before start the topic we have to discuss of some basic definition of the disconnection so the first definition we will deal with is target molecule so the molecule which we are going to synthesize that is called target molecule the another definition is disconnection is a imaginary bond breaking correspond to the reverse of the real reaction so what it mean to say it is the just reverse of the re real reaction and this bond breaking process the functional group interconversion in the process of the interconversion of one group or we can say one functional group into the another functional group during the retrosynthesis analysis or we can say during the disconnection approach the for the new definition is about retrosynthesis and there is a list of name which we can call retrosynthesis as retrosynthetic analysis as disconnection approach as synthesis backward the process of breaking down the target molecule into the available starting material by disconnection or functional group interconversion retrosynthetic arrow so that arrow here we see that it is used to denote or indicate the reverse synthetic reactions or retrosynthesis in the next we will talk about synthons what is the synthon synthon is an idealized fragment resulting from disconnection okay so another one is synthetic equivalent so what is synthetic equivalent the synthetic equivalent is nothing but a real chemical compound or reagent carried out through the functional of synthon so what i mean to say suppose we are define the synthon and from the synthon we get synthetic equivalent it means reagent here there is chemo selectivity and reagent selectivity so reaction in which one functional group within a molecule react living potentially reactive other functional group as unaltered is called chemo selective reaction and this is known as a chemo selectivity so in short if you want to say so which functional group is react or in hindi we can say kaun sa functional group react karega another is reagent selectivity the re reaction which predominantly produce one of several possible structural isomers is called reagent selective reaction and that reaction and that whole process is known as a reagent selectivity here where functional group is react in hindi we can say kahan pe functional group react hoga so that definitions for the advanced study of the disconnection approach so now it begin with the introduction in introduction a logical approach for designing a organic organic synthesis which involves breaking down the targeted molecule into the available starting material by imaginary bond breaking by the functional group into interconversion by the disconnection okay which is known as disconnection approach or retrosynthesis retrosynthesis a double line arrow here there is a double line arrow a retrosynthetic arrow is commonly used to indicate reaction written backward and the actual reaction is in reverse so here we can say z is our targeted molecule and x and y is our starting molecules okay or we can get product or synthon or synthetic equivalents now here there is one example i want to show something with this example like here we see the bond breaking is between c and o okay why because if we choose like c c c bond c o c bond and c o c double bond o bond so we can see here the c double bond o that is more labile so that's why the disconnection is proceed from here but what is the consequences why we choose the co bond disconnection that we will be look further when we are just go in advanced level of disconnection or retrosynthesis so there is a disconnection arrow or uh, not a arrow it's a wiggy line okay and it's a retrosynthetic arrow that is actually synthetic equivalent but if we want to draw a synthon then synthon it should be like that okay and here
that is so that is synthon so basically the preparation of ester prepared from alcohol and chloride so we can say the benzyl benzoate prepared from benzyl alcohol and benzyl chloride thus we can represent this using a stereocentric arrow and this imaginary bond breaking process so in next slide we will take a look about disconnection must correspond to the reverse of the real and workable reaction so the statement itself say we take a target molecule and we approach a disconnection method or retrosynthesis method from there we get starting material or synthetic equivalents so what is the synthons for that one if we take a look then definitely here there is the compound like nitro one which here it will be shown and double bond o and positive charge is here and here there is the amino compound or amine compound that is deal with a negative so from the negative and positive direction we we just ready to see here it should be a hetero atom going to attach and here like hydrogen atom is going to attach so in above case of amide we choose disconnection from cn see here the cn because that about the polarity of bond to reverse of real and workable reactions it means amine and chloride this is the best disconnection because no other possible disconnection of the molecule correspond to the reverse of the such real and workable reaction yield in a structure one so disconnection are the reverse of synthetic step for the reaction and for the every disconnection we must have a real and workable reaction in mind for the effect in the corresponding reconnection so now we will take a look about the routine for designer synthesis what is mean by routine for designer synthesis the routine means like which pattern you have to have follow use the disconnection or disconnection method or retrosynthesis method and then further the synthesis of the molecule or targeted molecule so find out the functional group the first point is to find out the functional group in a targeted molecule the second point is disconnect the molecule by the method which correspond to known or reliable reaction repeat as necessary to reach available starting material is the most important point because that is very important the starting material it should be a uh, readily available the availability is most important part of the disconnection so according to that in the synthesis we can say right about the plan according to the analysis adding the reagents and condition and the second one is modify the plan to the unexpected failures or success in the laboratory okay so that is that is also a part of the synthesis process we will deal with that one the next is synthons and synthetic equivalents so now we are take a basically look what is synthon what is synthetic equivalents so synthons are idealized fragment or usually we can say cation and anion resulting from the disconnection synthons needed to be replaced by reagent in a suggested synthesis that is that is true because there is a disconnection or retrosynthesis and then suggested synthesis we have to also learn about a suggested synthesis here we can take an example of paracetamol which is an amide can be disconnect either amine plus acyl chloride or amine plus acid anhydride but why why in the common reaction of paracetamol we will choose acidic anhydride or anhydride that i have explained something in good manner so here see the nh2 of this molecule and cl when it react together it form a hcl and here when it react together like uh, in this manner if you see it will be react here the h is from here and cl from here produce hcl and if this react here so disconnection appears from here so here we get ch3 c double o h acetic acid so if we compare the ph or acidic character of that acidic acid and that hcl so we can find out that hcl is a more acidic so to take a precaution for that one to did not add a more base on the reaction or we can get a smooth process of reaction we can use acetic acid as a byproduct so that's why the last line if you see in paracetamol is prepared from para amino phenol and acetic anhydride largely because the byproduct acetic acid more easier to handle compared to the hc here there is suggested synthesis so why we are choose the suggested synthesis because here you see there is amino phenol acetic anhydride with heat reflux we will get paracetamol so both that both acyl chloride and anhydride are depicted as single idealized reagent that means the cation of electrophilic acetyl group such as the idealized reagent for the fragment are known as a synthons so that is the that's the synthon means here if we had cation it means synthons 
anion it means another asynthons so synthon stands for the reagent which are going to use in a forward direction they are not themselves reagent however occasionally be intermediate in a reaction pathway by disconnecting bond to the synthons rather than to actual reagent we can indicate the polarity of bond forming reaction we are going to use without having to specify the details of the reagent so that is the about suggested synthesis and that is about synthon and synthetic equivalent or reagents see here there is a anion of this one and here we get a reagent here there is a cation of this one and here we have a this two group together so reagents are real chemical compounds carrying out a function of synthons and thus we can write out such a design and synthesis in full form it means form of the beginning to end so in this connection we approach first retrosynthesis and then we write such a synthesis now i have couple of list of the synthons which i like to share with you there is for the first one here i went to mention is r plus so in the r plus to so the synthetic equivalent might be rbr ri ro misylate tosylate and here r is alkyl it's not to be aryl so keep in mind is always alkyl is not aryl okay. the second synthon is like that ch o r r carbocation another one and the synthetic equivalent for the same is about some carbonyl group the third one is like r c o h h and c h 2 plus so here if you take a look that is you know the the bond is come to here attacking towards here and form a unique compound epoxide so here we take a look about the epoxide is like that c h o then c h 2 and the bond between these two this is called epoxide so whenever you see epoxide the synthons for the epoxide is to be this carbocation okay. so the fourth one the fourth synthon which we deal with is now we can increase the chain r c double bond o c h h c h 2 plus so if we think there is a plus charge and if we rotate the bond is here then we got something like that alkyne double bond o c h double bond c h 2 here we see that is the fifth one is carboanion that is in the carboanion case we must have that grignard lithium reagent lithium complex another is r2 culi this three is because in that case only the r is in a negative form or anionic form now uh, we will take a look another one is a sixth one that is r c double bond o ch2 minus so here there is a two main like the first c double bond o we can add a hydrogen ch3 and another we have to add r c double bond o here there is ch2 and here there is another c double bond o and o e t ethyl group another synthons might be like here there is a ethyl double bond o ch2 my is just similar to that one so we can write o double bond o ch3 here there is a ethyl group should be here and another one is o c double bond o ch2 c double bond o o ethyl here and ethyl here so thank you for watching the video in the next we will discuss about some guidelines for the disconnection